Hey, this is Mark Rubin with GiveMeHelp.com. We're going to help you uh, with blending two bitmaps. And what we mean by that is uh, when two bitmaps uh, are over the top of each other like that and you combine them or set them over the top of each other, what happens is right along the edge here, you might have a really straight edge or it might look pretty much like two bitmaps on top of each other. And what we want is we're kind of after the look of maybe something uh, that uh, appears like a single bitmap. So let's get started in uh, figuring out how to do this. Now, I'm going to take this image over here and just alter it a little bit. Um, I'm just going to digitize around the uh, handsome young guy's uh, little uh, picture here. And what I'm going to do is see if I can... I'm just going to do this rapidly because I'm just trying to create a uh, bitmap that's uh, a little more of an odd shape rather than just a rectangle. And uh, you could do this, uh, by the way, I'm, I'm doing it, I'm going to use a mask, but you could do this uh, maybe using uh, tr Make Transparent or something like that, okay? All right, there we go. Now, uh, what we'll do is we'll grab both of those, and I'm going to right-click and mask it together. And then I'm going to put this over the top of my graphic over here, and I'll just make it a little bit smaller. You'll see some issues that are a problem, right? Uh, for instance, when I zoom up, you can you can literally see how that looks like it's cut right there, right? See how it's it just looks nice and straight. It doesn't look like a bitmap that is part of the the one uh, below it. So what we want to do is combine these together. Well, the first thing to do is take your bitmap right here, okay? Just this is the the bitmap we want to combine that we've masked. And whether you've made it transparent or whatever, you can follow the same steps. What you want to do is go to the Fill Stroke Editor, click on uh, right here, and add a stroke to it. And you want that stroke to be fairly small. Uh, I'm going to make mine, depends on the size of the bitmap, but I'm going to make mine about 0.02 inches. And it doesn't look like anything's happened, but it, it has. It's added a stroke around the image. Now, here's what a stroke is. What you want to do next step is go to the Arrange menu. That's what that image still. Uh, you know, selected, and then convert the stroke to outlines. And that's what a stroke looks like. Specifically, when you click on the image, what a stroke does is, and I'm going to zoom in over here, the image, the stroke is halfway on top of the image of the person and then halfway on the, or, uh, the one that's on the bottom where the Spider-Man is. All right. Now, the next step actually is simply to take this uh, graphic, what we're going to do is we're going to take this graphic, I've, I've clicked on the person, I'm holding my shift key down and I'm clicking on the graphic behind it. I don't want to select the actual uh, stroke, just the two bitmaps. Go to the bitmap menu and rasterize them. Now you can choose whatever amount that you need here that's going to accomplish your particular goal, whatever resolution you need and, and so forth and so on. You decide that, different lesson. Okay, now what that's done is it's combined the two together, but you can see, again, that edge right here against the one on the back. It just doesn't look like it's part of the original image, right? Well, with the after you've rasterized it, what you've done is you've combined the two images together into a single unit. I'm going to right-click on it and send that back because I want to see those strokes again. And now I'm going to select both the stroke and the new image. And I'm going to go to bitmap and say convert shape to marquee. And I think you see where we're going here. This has actually converted that shape there so that I have it halfway over the top. There's a marquee. In other words, I'm going to affect only around the edge of the graphic right here. And the way I'm going to correct this is I'm going to go to the bitmap menu under filters and I'm going to choose a blur. And let's uh, let's take a good close look at that. Look at the look at what you're getting here. You see what I'm doing? I'm just blurring the edge on this, right? Just trying to combine it. I can choose whatever amount. I can go up. I can go down. You know, I can choose whatever amount I'm after here. In this case, maybe just a couple of times would be okay. Click OK on that. And what it does is, we'll back up, is it's blurred the edge of the image uh, just enough to kind of combine it with the background there. Now, play around with your resolutions, with all that sort of thing. Let, let me go back here. I'm going to step back a few steps, okay? All right. <clears throat> this is this is actually before we uh, made our uh, new uh, graphic, right? So here's my image, right? I don't have the stroke on it or anything. These are the two separate images, okay? 
So I take this one, remember what I did. I went to the stroke and I made sure there was a stroke on it. There was. And then I went here to arrange and I said convert the stroke to outlines, which it did. This time I'm going to take the background and this new bitmap here, not the stroke now, the background and the new bitmap, hold the shift key down, and I'm going to rasterize it again, but this time I'll increase the resolution a bit. The more resolution you increase to, the, uh, the, the, the smaller these little lines are around the edge here. And what makes that kind of cool, I'm going to send that to the back. What makes that cool is that the, the more you have that edge, the more uh, resolution you give to the image here, the better this effect. Okay, so we're going to take that, convert that into a marquee. See what I've got here. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit for you. See, that's a little bit better. And then we're going to go to the bitmap menu under filters. I'm going to choose that blur again. See how much, much better that is now with the higher resolution? Kind of cool. Click OK. All right. And you see how now what that's done is it's literally blended that image into the one in the background. So it really does look like it was originally part of the overall graphic.